Hi, I'm Ian from Dumashell. I'm going to break down a full hind leg of beef. Here we have a grass fed leg, it comes from Beverly Creek. We're going to have the sirloin tip on this side. You're going to have the flat here. You got the inside round over here. We're going to break it all down. You've got the kneecap, goes right about there. So you're going to take your hook and dig it in. You're going to find, you can see that the kneecap is right there, so I'm a little bit high. Try to get a little bit lower here. Got to dig that hook right in there. And you can go all the way right to the bone. You can kind of see you've got seams in your beef. Your seam there and your seam there. And once you get right to your seams, then you basically just cut all the way down straight. Hang it along the bone. And it's just going to fall right out. Sirloin tip. All right, next step. Now that we got the sirloin tip off. We're going to cut down the seams on this side. We're going to cut the seam here. And then we're going to bone it all the way out. Take it off in one piece. So get your hook in. Find, see your seam there. Takes a bit of work. You can see it, just use your hook and it peels right away. You can hear it just coming off that, right off the femur. See as she drops. We just use gravity. So now that we got it to this point, so now we're here. It's really stuck right on the H bone. Take our boning knife. We're gonna disconnect it from here. Here we go. So we've got the sirloin tip off. We've got the outside, the inside, and the eyes hidden in here. We've got the shank. Let's start taking it apart. We'll start with the sirloin tip. Got to take the outer layer off. Which peels off pretty easily. All right, got the tip all cleaned up. We're gonna cut a couple of roasts out of that. Next piece, we're gonna take the H bone out. We're gonna have a spider steak here. Got a beautiful spider steak there. We'll clean that up so you can see the marbling in it. Let's get the spider. 
delicious. This big bone here is the H bone. That's the hip bone. Let's take it out. There we go. Hip bone. All right, here's the inside round. I'm gonna clean some of the exterior fat off. Get it ready to make some meal steaks. Get it ready to make king roast. All right, with the inside round, there's a cap on it. The easiest way to get rid of that cap is to find the fatty part. Just slide the tip of your knife right under it. Just use your fingers just to kind of peel it away. You just use the tip of your knife. Make sure your knife's sharp, but watch your fingers. Just kind of peel that layer away. You can see where it attaches. Once the cap is removed, just take your scimitar. And just take that top little layer of fat off. inside round all right we've got the inside round here we've got the outside flat on this side what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread them apart we're gonna take the gooseneck out and we'll get to the eye around so with beef there's always seams so you can basically get at the seams in the middle start pulling it out There's the inside round, there's the flat, and you got the eye around tucked in over here. We'll take the eye out. We'll just find the seams, clean it up a little bit.
Here's the eye around. What we'll do is we'll clean up the gooseneck. Get it the bottom flat. There we go. Now you got your rump. We're gonna cut some rump rows out of it. You got your eye around and your inside round. All right, here we go. So we've cleaned up that leg. Here are all the pieces we have. So there's an eye around, there's an inside round, there's a bottom flatter outside round, there's a sirloin tip, got a beef shank, everybody likes to make that Thor's hammer now. Got a femur bone, and you got an H bone. The bones are great for stock. The shank, great for grinding or do the Thor's hammer, smoke it, uh, cook it a long time. It's gonna be pretty tough unless you're really burning here for a long time. Sirloin tip, we're gonna cut it into some roast. Probably a couple of four pound rows, so it's gonna be beautiful. The outside flat, we have a needle machine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna needle it, tie it, cut it in some rows. The inside round, we're gonna cut some stew, make some minute steaks, a couple of king rows. And the eye around, we're gonna turn into uh, pepper steaks.